Hello everybody. Today's video will be about lock styles. Things I use were some big bobby pins, a scrunchie, a hair tie that's been stretched out, my handy dandy swirly curly, it clips just like that, and a claw clip. So getting into style number one. It's just wearing your hair down, but I like to do a deeper side part. Going into style number two, I'm sectioning off a little bit of my hair in the very front. And then I'm going to take a little over half of my hair. And I'm going to pull it kind of in the middle of my head. I know I'm pulling it up to the top right now, but that's just to get it out of the way. getting it even as I'm gonna get it it doesn't have to be perfect like I said I'm gonna pull it about midway my head gonna take my hair tie I normally wrap it around so it'll be like I tied it twice or wrapped it twice rather just like that Then I'm going to kind of roll it over. I don't know how you want to say that, like a, as if I was going to do a bun. And just put my claw clip on it. And y'all, these styles are basically low tension, not really any tension at all. And here is style number two. It's kind of a half up, half down claw clip style with the bayang. And I keep my two little end pieces out. Those are just like my accent pieces. Style two and a half. If you don't want hair in your face, you can take that bang part and swoop it. Take you a pin or two, however many you need. Pin that down. And I just took the loose ends into the hair that's in the clip. Maneuver it how you want it to. And that's just another way you can wear that style. Going into style number three, I'm pulling everything up to do a high bun. Kind of a messy bun. It's not perfect. I don't even try to perfect my buns. Like I said, these are low tension styles. I'm taking that hair tie again. Like I said, I take it like I'm wrapping it around twice. And then I'm just going to kind of just form the hair around into a bun. And then I'm going to take my scrunchie and just put it over the top just like that that's it minimal effort and I left the bang out and that is style number three and of course like a three and a half if you don't want the bang in your face you can do a little swoop All right, we're going into style number four, bringing all of the hair to the front, pulling the bang up, only leaving down my accent pieces, the two in the back, the two on the sides. And I'm gonna take my swirly curly and I'm doing like a lock puff. So I'm just gonna put that in the back, take the front, crisscross it, and kind of tighten it right above my hairline. I'm going to take the back, pull it up as far as, pull it up as far as you want to, wherever you want your puff, quote unquote, to be. Pull mine up pretty high, tighten it up in the front, pull it around the back, and you snap it. 
Of course, if you don't have this, you can use like a headband and I'm just gonna fluff the hair. It normally looks better than this, but my hair was stretched from a braid out. So this is style four. I think it just said four. This is like a lock puff. And from that lock puff, we're just gonna do a bun. Again, I'm going to consider these messy buns or like low effort. Taking my hair tie because it is bigger. I don't think the scrunchie would have stretched enough just to hold those hairs in place. So there's style five. And this is the last style. These are some of the styles that I've been wearing without a retie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll